Hi. So isn't hair so important to us women? Unfortunately, menopause usually thins our hair out and I have to say, I have a lot of hair, so when my hair started thinning out, the place I mostly saw it was right up here. I really felt like I was receding. And then there's this one spot where my hair likes to part. That spot right in there started to get really thin. So I didn't really do a whole lot about it. The one thing that I thought I wanted to do was to get that red light comb. I don't know if you've seen that. It's like a band and you put it, I think they have a comb too, but I wanted to get the band because it was kind of easy to do. You could just put it on, but it's so expensive. And I do have some red light uh, devices. So I would like stick those on like the problem areas on my head but I didn't see a difference. I don't know if it's a different kind of red light that they put in those head things, or it's just a different, you know, with the combs, it gets more into your scalp. I didn't see enough of a difference to make me wanna make that dive in to spend all that money. And then the other thing I was really contemplating was extensions. I just really, back here, I was like, if I could just get just some extensions back here, but anything that I really research on extensions, it's damaging to the hair and I just didn't want to mess with. I'm like, just, it's good enough. It's not that bad. Let's just leave it alone. And that's what I did. I didn't do anything. So last summer I got COVID and I hadn't put the connection together with hair loss and COVID. But what happened to me after the back like, I don't know if I can show you, but this whole back layer back here broke right off. The, I mean, it was a stubble. And when that happened, I mean, panic. Like immediately I went into panic mode. <laughs> then somebody told me that they had their hair broken off right in the back too. And it's like, that's a weird coincidence. She was saying it was because of COVID. And then I'm like, well, I did have COVID not that long ago. So I'm thinking that's what it was. I don't know. But I definitely, after that, started seeing my hair coming out. Like I was scared to brush my hair. Every time I brushed my hair, it just felt like it was full of my hair. And I mean, that's scary to like think of losing your hair. I know, I know it's not the worst thing in the world. I know that that's vanity, but there is just something about our hair and feeling like a woman. Immediately, I started to take action. <laughs> so the first thing I did was like I always do, what can I consume to help? because I'm a big believer in our diet really helps to fix all problems. I got some collagen peptides to drink. Um, I found this one at Costco. It has like three ingredients. So I started having my collagen peptides, started drinking bone marrow. So I had those two things that I was adding in to really help with what I thought my hair needed. Okay, so that was what I consumed. Then the next thing I did was I got like a very simple little cheap off Amazon down every day. And just for, even if it was just a few minutes, I would just sit there and rub this all over, especially in the areas that I really, you know, felt needed work. I would get in there and I would massage. Okay, so that was just an everyday thing on dry hair. Then when I would wash my hair, I wanted to stick with things that I really knew. So if you watched any of my hair videos, you know that I am obsessed with Garnier's Sleek and Shine. And when I say I put it in, I load it on. It may not be expensive, but I go through this stuff. So I load it on, I massage it in from the roots and I pull it through to the ends. So after I rinse that out, I go to my next tried and true and it's the balayage a uh, hydro source, I think it's called. And then I wrap it in a towel and then I go about doing a few things. I'll wash my face or, you know, maybe fold some laundry, just something to let it stay on for, you know, maybe five or 10 minutes. Then I rinse that out and I rinse it out really, really well. Cause I have at this point done a lot of conditioning to my hair. So I do a good, good rinse. 
The other thing that I do, and this is on special occasion, the BB Thickening Plumping Mask. So they say that this volumizing in shower treatment expands each hair strand, each hair strand. <laughs> That's what caught my attention for full on all day volume. I really do like this stuff. Um, I don't load it on like I load my other things on. This stuff ain't cheap, girls. Uh, I wanna say it's somewhere around $45. And then as a leave-on conditioning oil, I go to my another tried and true, uh, my Moroccan oil. And I just, I don't load it on. I try not to because I am extra and I do tend to go overboard on these things. But if I do too much, my hair will look greasy. Then the other thing I was being careful about was um, blow drying my hair. I stopped. I didn't blow dry my hair. I was not using hot tools on my hair. Then I did actually get the Dyson Air Wrap and it has changed my life, girls. <laughs> I use that every time I blow dry my hair now and it has not done any damage to my hair at all. And then the last thing that I changed was how often I went to the hairdresser. I was going every six weeks. I have dark hair, but for whatever reason, I wanna be blonde. So I was going every six weeks and getting the highlights done. So that's like super damaging. I'm bleaching my hair. If you're doing an all over color, like that's not as bad, but bleaching, like that's hard on your hair. Anyways, let me show you like how my hair grew back. So imagine it was stubbles and you know, that's where, you know, like six months later, it has really grown back. So that's all I got. And i um, so glad to have you hanging out with me. If you haven't subscribed, don't forget to subscribe because we've got the coolest old lady gang in town. All over, every town. <laughs> so thanks for being with me today. Talk to you later.